Hi everybody, I'm Jim. I'm Rich. And we're playing Resin Arise. Yeah, we're There's still plugging away. Giant tree farm here, which now I am going to refine. I am going to have to repair, replace a bunch of my aspects uh, that I use to um, make balance shards. And I'm going to refine it with a with a reinforced servo. So we're going to need some iron nuggets, some redstone. And hopefully he doesn't poison us all. Yeah, because I'm about to put in the sludge boiler. Oh, and I need some hardened glass, which I have in this chest here. There we are. So now we have four reinforced servos. Because right now, this planter is going, or this harvester rather, is going through there. But what we need it to do is a couple of other things. Because we need it to go to a, to pump to a sludge boiler. So we're going to need some fluid ducts. Oh, yeah, she's uh, full of sludge right now. You, you know, you, you should have probably just made another aqueous accumulator for that. Uh, because my thing is empty? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. My life is, is a continuous cavalcade of cannibalizing parts um, for other things. So the sludge boiler is actually the very, very last thing we are going to put in. Just so you know, I stole some of your obsidian. Seems cool. So we're going to put in this item duct. Yeah, hope these guys are running around. Yeah, I emptied all my, all but one of my primal aspect jars. So i got to refill them. Okay. So while they're working away, what do I need for... Ooh, do we have nether brick? Uh, yeah, we should. Cool. Alright. Now, do I want to send this? Let's let's start with something easy. And let's pump saplings back into the planter. Servo on there. And we're actually what we're actually going to need to do is pump that to a chest. All right. Sort of doing the proof of concept here. Also, I can't run it directly under my liquiduct. So this whole thing is actually a foolish endeavor. <laughs> are no mistakes in art. We're just going to harvest some happy little trees. Okay. We're going to run this to a chest. And we're going to put that chest on the ground just because it makes me feel better.
So now it's pulling things out, putting them in this chest. Now we're going to run those item ducks again. There we go. Hello, birds. So loud. Yeah. I just think you only have to hear them occasionally. Hmm, it's true. Okay. Now for this. I'm going to disconnect this briefly. I'm going to put another servo in. Servos let me control what goes in and what goes out. I want to use the whitelist. And we want to whitelist saplings. Okay, so back to what I was doing. What do I need to fully charge these? Nothing I'm currently working on. Oh, right, I forgot to make the Salus Mundus, which is just smelting balance shards. What's the Salus Mundus? Magical salt. Hmm. Seems sensible, I guess. Just need to go throw these into the furnace. So that's Tree Farm Alpha coming along. Tree Farm Alpha is confusing. But we're getting there. I don't know that I'm... Yeah, I think Ophelia's going to start hating me. Why? I keep jumping on her head to get over the wires. Okay, so you've got saplings and stuff coming into this chest. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm not extracting. This You're welcome. Complex. What? You forgot to disable to be a, to run off of a. You had it set so it would need a high redstone signal to start pumping. Oh, out. I didn't click it twice. You That's forgot why. to disable it. You're welcome. Go be a wizard. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. So I need alienists so that's or a potential round robin. Robins. That'll keep my planter full of saplings. <laughs> yes, now, with my infant supply of charcoal. Uh, shut up. Um, speaking of cannibalizing my own gear, we're gonna cannibalize a furnace. I'm using them. I only took one. We have like three. Jim, the master of not wanting to rebuild things. We'll get there. Don't worry. Alright. You've got to be like one of the most inefficient engineers I've met. Mm, probably. How many engineers have you met? Not many. There you go. Brian's an engineer, isn't he? Mm-hmm. 
I met Ryan. Ryan's not actually an engineer. Ryan went to school for engineering, though. He will tell you that he is not actually an engineer. It is a protected term in Canada. Really? Yep. So you, the only way to say that you are an, an engineer in Canada uh, without the, running the risk of getting super completely sued is uh, by... I'm going to try something. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't destabilize. Okay, so far so good. No lightning strikes. No oh, radar fires. No goo floating away. Are you infusing something? Yes. I think I've got it mostly stabilized. I'm going to have to make some more stabilizers to surround it with. But all those crystal shards I have on the ceiling are doing a lot of good. I think the ideal amount's something like 120 to 150 objects. Okay. To prevent accidents on the most unstable infusion. Which I am nowhere near doing, I think. Mondays. So I think something I'll have to be doing uh, regularly between episodes is uh, creating lots of balance shards and other things I might need. Okay. Um, hopefully I have enough everything left. Might need more vacuous for this. No, 18 of each. I think I'm good. 46, 20, 46, 46. Yep. Everything's in place. Boom, charge the other uh, wand cap. And then I gotta make sure I can get everything I need, which I think is gonna require another balance shard, to make a silverwood wand core. Mm, okay. Yeah, I need a balance shard, and and one of us. Yeah, I need seven various shards, and a bunch of other stuff. All right. Don't mind me. I'm just understanding how servos work. You figured it out this time? Nope. Alienus. Orum. Oh, Orum, how I hate, oh. hate, hate having to recharge you. You know our neighbors over there? By uh, that to obelisk? Me, you know, all the phantom knights? Yeah. I'm familiar. S so to recharge my aurum, I essentially have to kill them, hope I get essence drops, and um, then put them through my uh, thing to get the to get aurum. Seems unfortunate. It, yeah, it's very unfortunate. I th I'm thinking of trying to set up a wisp uh, farmer. Which is Orum? Orum is the air one? No, it's not a primal. Then I don't Orum, think... Orum is essentially Aura. I don't know that that made any sense at all. It did to me. Great. I mean, as long as it makes sense to me, right? Sure. You're an engineer who can't even figure his stuff out. Well, I'm an engineer who's carefully experimenting with things. Mm -hmm. For certain values of careful. Alright, we're gonna feed this. We're gonna knock that out and knock this out. Now we're 
going to feed us uh, create a separate feed. Goes in here to the furnace. Man, it is so frustrating being so close to a new one core and having to wait on my golems. Muffin. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so, I, I'm so, um, something or other. That's the sun coming up. Use the whitelist. Yeah. Okay. I'm sleeping. So now we're shipping. Wood. Now we're shipping with UPS. Into our redstone circuit. Furnace. Actually, we're gonna pop it up one more level, and run it into the hopper. That way, we'll have a buffer, and then at the bottom. We feed it directly into the dynamo. So we're always making charcoal. So now, and then when, when there's excess, because we're going to set this to nearest first, actually we're going to go furthest first on both of these. So when there's excess, uh, it'll go, it'll stay in the chest. So yeah, now we've got sound like you know what you're doing. Items going in the planter. We've got charcoal automatically fueling our tree farm. Our last thing we need is it's a sludge there. boiler. Oh. Sludge boilers are dangerous. Well, they're not dangerous, dangerous, but they're hazardous. <coughs> so, you know, because they make the area around them toxic. They do also make a bunch of neat things. Tell us a story about them, Uncle Jim. Oh, God. Um, so what I'm going to do with that, I'm just debating different ways to set it up. But I want to set it up somewhere safe. It's got to be somewhere that has access to power. So we're going to put it here. And it needs to have access to power and sludge. So we're piping that out here. Oops, those are item ducts. Check something here. We don't want to hook it up quite yet. Why not? Uh, because it would be awful. So it's got power. We're one away. So we want to make sure, and what the sludge boiler does is it refines sludge into random stuff. Is send it to an under chest. About to make my golems unhappy for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I moved the, the Ignis jar. Well, that should do it. So we're going to reconnect this briefly. I think it's silver wood log I need for this. So yeah, yes. I just got sludged, and you can see that it's poisoning me. Ha ha ha.
I don't think it can kill me, but it's certainly not pleasant. And it made some peat. So we are actually, I believe, going to need a chest for this. So we'll grab another one out of the storage system. Here. Actually, let's try it without the chest. Yeah, so it's going to dump directly into that item duct, which is going to dump into that ender chest which in turn is going to dump into the ME system. So I'm going to set this to... nearest first, because this area is closer. This one's set to furthest first, because that area is farther, and then the last one right in there, put the servo in place. Okay. Well, I think I have everything in place for this. Okay, it's magic time. It's magic time? Yeah, we're gonna hope this works. I'm working to make my silverwood wand core now. Oh. I got all the essences. I got all the shards. I got everything placed. I'm just hoping I got everything balanced properly. To keep things stable. So this now ships apples into... The last thing we need to do before I turn on that sludge boiler again is build a safety fence. Which I have decided I want to do with that fire. One core. Ooh, fancy. Oh yeah. Now, let's put the Ignis uh, jar back to make my golems happy again. Alright, so Sludge Boiler's range is three blocks in every direction. So it's there. One, two, three, score. Yep, four. Last step should just be assembly. <coughs> oh, you bloody monsters! Oh, uh, what? I just went through to make this with these wand caps, and it takes seventy two point nine. V. 
I don't understand why that's a problem, but I... My just... current wand only holds 50. Oh. I'm gonna have to make a thomium capped one. It's almost like you can't just jump the tech tree. Uh, Somebody saw you coming. I was hoping I could jump past uh, thomium to void. Uh, I gotta jump through hoops again. Thought I had it. Do we have any thomium? Do you know? Uh, I think I used a whole bunch of it. Oh uh, no, we still have enough ink. It's good. No. No, what am I thinking here, Richard? You do it this way. Turn them into nuggets. Look at that. At least it's not quite as bad. I just need to um, charge the two uh, thomium caps and then assemble because I've already got the rest of it made. Okay. It doesn't seem as bad. It's not, except I'm going to have to recharge my Aurum before I can make... Oh no, I don't need Aurum for a new uh, core. Oh, it's just frustrating, all that work and realizing I have to go and redo stuff. Thankfully, I made extra Salus Mundus earlier. Okay. Salus Mundus would be salt of the world? No idea. I just call it magical salt. It is probably magical salt. Thankfully, I already have the one. It'll use the same wand core, it was just the, the caps, but I'll need to make a new wand core when I go to use those charged void ones. So you've been trying to jump the tech tree twice, haven't you? What do you mean jump the tech tree twice? As in, get like, two wands ahead? Well, kind of, I didn't realize that the, uh, putting the void ones on a, the silverwood core would cost so much extra uh, V to do it. Mm. All right. So we now have a safety cage. dancing your safety cage? Uh, no, the whole point of the safety cage is that no one goes in the safety cage. Oh, so it's not safe in there. No, it's safe outside the safety cage. That's the point. So nobody gets accidentally sludged. Okay, but we can purposely sludge people? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm, like, walking around here just to make sure that it's actually clear. Safe? <laughs> yep. Charge thomium caps. Oh, and now I have to go recharge my wand <laughs> to be able to make the new wand. That's amazing. Oh. We'll do it next time. I'm gonna see your safety thing. Okay.